Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make amazing banana bread. So if you're like me, you'll go to the store, you'll buy bananas, and uh, a lot of times you don't eat them all, and they just sit there in your fruit basket, and they get these spots on them, um, and then they start getting darker and darker, and then you totally stay away from them and just wind up throwing them away. Instead of throwing them away, make some banana bread. I'll show you how, quick and easy, anyone can do it. Let's get started. For the ingredients, we need one and two thirds cup of flour. I'm gonna use bread flour, or you can use all purpose flour as well. One teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, two large eggs, one half cup of canola oil, three large ripe bananas, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one half cup of chopped walnuts. You can use more if you like. First, preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna take my cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. I'm gonna whisk it in with my flour. Or if you have a sifter, you can sift it in there. Whisking works just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Now let's put in our eggs. And add our sugar. And we're gonna mix that, whisk that together. You can also use a, a hand mixer if you want. Now add our oil. Add our vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And now we are going to mash our bananas. I'm gonna take them and peel them. Nice, really ripe bananas. I'm gonna use a meat tenderizer and just kind of mash these up. Get it to where it's a nice paste that's ready. And then I'm going to take my mixture back and I'm gonna add my bananas to the rest of this mixture here. Add our walnuts. And now I'm gonna use a wooden spatula here and fold this all together like so. Okay, and now we are going to fold in the flour, little by little. We'll mix it in. We'll make sure to scrape the sides periodically so it all gets mixed in. We'll add the rest of the flour now. Okay, I'm gonna take my pan and just spray it a little bit with cooking spray. You can also use a parchment paper if you want, just a quick little spray. And then let's go ahead and put our mixture right here in our pan. This is a nine by five inch pan. Okay, and there we go. We'll go ahead and put this in the oven and we will bake it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna start it at 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and we'll check it with a toothpick and see if it, the toothpick comes out nice and dry. If it's not, if the toothpick comes out wet, then we'll put it in for five more minutes and we'll keep checking it until it's ready to go. Now I'll go ahead and put it in the oven. Okay, I took it out of the oven. Uh, it was on for 45 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take a toothpick and poke it in here and pull it out. Looks nice and clean. Ready to go. You notice there's a little brown on here. Um, that's okay, I don't mind it. But if you don't want it to be this brown, you can go ahead and just put some foil over the top um, about 30 minutes in, and uh, that'll help it to not get this brown. It looks good, it's ready to go. Time to eat. All right, 
our bread is done. Now for the breakdown. Total time to make this, about 15 to 20 minutes for the prep and about 45 minutes to an hour baking in the oven. Total cost, $1.74, give or take. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, specialty breads like this can run, you run you anywhere from three to four up to five dollars. So it's a great deal, make them at home, easy to do. And so if you have some old bananas lying around, make some banana bread. It tastes amazing. Now, time for me to try some. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. Take care.